Hey folks and welcome to this week's Skippy Track Guide at Watkins Glen. Now I've already done two of these, I do two different layouts and I decided to do this one because the track temperature was quite toasty when I did have a look at the uh, the last ones. I think we're on about 110 Fahrenheit but we will see that in a moment. Um, you've got two track guides this week, the Ferrari Challenge GT3 one, I've done that one as well so if you want to check out that one it will be up at the top of the video somewhere. And uh, well let's crack on with this one first of all, let's get rid of that mumbo jumbo. And info here, yeah, 110 Fahrenheit, so I'll put the uh, degrees just above my head. Uh, yeah, hot in other words. Uh, track usage 45%, which is moderate, which is about what we should be seeing in the race. The laps, I didn't do many practice laps because, um, well, this was one of my second sessions. Uh, but yeah, we started off high 28, well, mid 28s, mid to low 28s, actually. And then we finally got down to low 27s. I did have an optimal of a 26.9, I think it was. But obviously that's stringing the perfect lap together. And, uh, well, I'm not that concerned to put it that way. <laughs> so we're uh, a 127.048, which would be the one. Uh, otherwise, the setup will be down in the description. Uh, I I did find it was very tail happy, so you might want to reduce the rear anti-roll bar. I have it on 8, which I think is the maximum. So plenty of oversteer. Um, probably drop it down if you are struggling with a bit of oversteer. Um, it is very rear grip limited, so be mindful of that. I'll point out the corners where we do struggle with the rear tyres. And uh, the OLAP, BLAP and the telemetry file will all be in my Discord, so link will be down below. Otherwise, that's enough waffling. I will, uh, well, I'll crack on with the guide. Right, here we are. Beautiful Watkins Glen and be prepared. This will be a absolute slipstream fest. So starting off with the first slipstream is down to turn one. And we are hunting for the 200 board and the tarmac change on the on the road in front of you we break in change down to third turn in and get on throttle as early as you can now i do hit a good chunk of that curve i did do a few laps where i didn't i didn't find much of a difference so may as well cut the corner radius down as much as we can you can run wide but be very careful coming back on that grass you can get an off track through the s's now turns three uh, sorry two three and four all we're trying to do is maximize the straight line speed here minimize steering angle remember skippy will go fastest when all wheels are pointing in a straight line Line. Changing to fifth as we come over the crest because it's a slight hill. Skippy struggles in fifth gear and we're another slipstream zone. Uh, it's going to be really awkward and this is a horrible place to overtake down here. But what we're hunting for is the barrier break just there. And what I do is I turn and at the change of tarmac, we just went over there, break in a straight line to this apex. Fourth gear, mash the throttle as best you can to try and minimize the oversteer so you want weight over the rear axle we're very rear limited going through there and it is a quite a fast bus stop come all the way out to the left hand side but don't hit that grass you will spin and then this massive long turn five i kind of get to the apex at that lamppost that just went past and stay on the apex until i see or i'm facing these cones right here so when you see them, that's the other layouts, obviously. Start bleeding the car out to the left-hand side, trying to maximize that straight line speed. Another straight, another slipstream fest. Uh, all I do is just minimize angle here, diagonal it from left-hand to right-hand side, and try and pick up our breaking point for the very twitchy turn six, turn six, 200 meter board, and we're stabbing the brakes and we're back on throttle. As I say, rear limited on this one, so get into the nice cambered corner and power all the way through it. Really nice corner when you get it right, when you get it wrong, real pain in the rear it was spinning out quite a lot last corner turn seven again end of the barrier or tires whatever they are little stab of the brakes and then on the throttle to keep the rear end in check half throttle and then full throttle as early as we can to maximize the straight line speed down the start finish straight again uh with these uh track guys going at uh, four times or whatever it is or half speed they do uh, disappear quite quickly but i think i am covering everything as much as i can and that's across the line in a 127.048. So as I say, very quick guide and uh, they have been coming quicker and quicker. And I hope this one helps you at least. It's a different layout and the main difference is the huge track temperature. It uh, is quite toasty and it makes the skippy very, very slidey. Be careful on the opening laps. As always, there's a lot of death around Watkins Lane, particularly through the S's. So a game of survival and it's a game of slipstream as well. doesn't matter where you are on the first lap, just matters where you are probably coming down that back straight on the last uh, last lap otherwise guys thank you very much for watching uh, uh, the full speed uh, cockpit cam and chase cam are to follow fingers crossed i uh, we we survived this week i'll uh, catch you on the next one